How did it come to this? Call of Duty Black Ops 1 was a treasured game to me. I loved playing it. It's one of the most iconic video games of all time. It had one of the best multiplayers out of all the Call of Duty games, in my humble opinion. And now, now it's gone. Possibly forever. Just like a few other games in the series, Call of Duty, Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Microsoft, Sony have all failed miserably to keep these great relics of the past alive. Black Ops 1 is now unplayable on Xbox One. I want to say, six months ago from the time of making this video, this game was working just fine for me. I could not only get into matches, but full matches. Sure, I had to put up with lag, cheaters, and bad hit reg, but hey, I could still play the game that once said, screw the sniper rifles. But now, I can't play this game at all. In fact, I can't even find another player on this game. It says there are 1.5 million people playing this game, but where, where are the peoples? Not in my lobby, I can tell you that. Not a single one of them. And that's a damn shame. I can't play one of my favorite games at all, ever again, chances are, because I can't find another player. And for the record, the gameplay that you're watching was all for my saved films in the theater mode. I wouldn't even be able to do this video and show gameplay had I not saved a few matches from 2018 and early 2019. I did a video covering this problem on MW2 less than a year ago. And here we go again. And it's an even worse situation on this game now. Every couple weeks or couple of days for the past six months, I have loaded up this game and I have tried to play it. And I have had zero luck finding anybody else on this game in any game mode. And that includes TDM. And I see other people connect just fine on Twitch when I'm watching a live stream. But for me, I can't connect to any lobbies or any other players on this game anymore. I know a few people were saying, Oh, ever since this game was added to the backwards compatible list, it's been like this. No. No, it hasn't. Not for this game, at least. I mean, sure, for Modern Warfare 2 and some of the other games, yeah, it has. But this game was working up until 5-6 months ago for me. And I'm not the only person going through this. I've seen comments on my videos talking about this issue for this game. All of my friends can't play this anymore on Xbox One either. I know some other people were saying, Oh, just use the Xbox 360. They were saying that on my MW2 unplayable video, at least. And I'm like, bro, I'm not going back to it. And I'm sure as hell not going through my attic to find my old 360 that doesn't even work anymore because the disc tray won't even open. Not happening. They made this shit backwards compatible for a reason, okay? I should be able to play this game on Xbox One. But guess what? I can't, and neither can anybody else apparently, or at least any of the motherfuckers that I play with on Xbox One. How is that acceptable in any way, shape, or form? And it's just amazing how it seems like someone just hit a switch, and what do you know, poof, nobody can play the game anymore just out of the blue one day. I am 100% convinced at this point that somebody did something to the backward compatible part of this game because they don't want us to play the older games anymore. And regardless if that's true or not, it's pretty obvious all the people, all the BS organizations that I mentioned, do not care at all. And this is one of the great first person shooter games. 
just like MW2, World at War, even if somebody did not screw something up, how the hell can they possibly sit there and do nothing? Just because it's an older game? Black Ops 1 is one of the most popular games ever made. And you're not going to at least make it workable for people to play? And what about my PS4 people? They never even got a chance to try this great game on that system. They had to stay on the crappy PS3 to play this game. Either way you look at it, it's fucked up. It really is. I'm just totally frustrated by it all. I even waited months when I could not get it to work before I uninstalled it. I kept trying to get into a match, but I guess those 1.5 million people just don't exist. Either way, some motherfucker is lying their ass off right there. Every time I saw that 1.2, 1.3, 1.5 million peoples are online, I just lost it, man. About a year ago, I was going to go back and get the DLC for this game because I never played any of those maps before. But forget it. Thank God I never did that. That's completely off the table now. I'm glad I never gave them any more of my money because they obviously don't deserve it. Anyways, I am going to miss a lot of good things with this game. Like the Commando, the Yogg, the Spectre, and the AK. I really loved some of the maps like Firing Range, Hanoi, Grid, Launch, Villa, Summit, and especially WMD, Cracked, and Jungle. Jungle was the closest thing to Wasteland, if any of you remember. I don't think any other map ever came close to replicating that greatness of Wasteland. And the theater mode on this game was so useful for me, or really anybody that did YouTube videos on this game over the years. The kill streaks like Rolling Thunder and wiping out the entire team with that. I can't tell you how many five or six piece multis I had just with that alone. The chopper gunner was sick, the dogs, all of those things just made this game beautiful. I felt so comfortable moving around and being aggressive on this game too. The fact that this game took away the overpowered sniper rifles. Oh bro, it felt so good for once to play a Call of Duty game that actually favored the AR and SMG player for once. But now I can't play it anymore. And one more thing I wanted to bring up. Some people have been saying that I'm a bit negative in my commentary videos. And what they don't understand is bringing up problems in video games is a really big part of my channel. And also I speak the truth. I talk about the things that other people are not even willing to acknowledge. And I am beyond frustrated with the current state of gaming at this point. All these new games, the new shooter games in particular, have sucked over the past few years. I've said it multiple times. And I don't think anything will ever match Black Ops 1, World at War, or MW2. Nothing will. Nothing will. But even then, these older games, the once great and legendary Call of Duty games, you can't even go back and enjoy them anymore because the lobbies are lagging like you're connected to a host that's based out of Mother Russia, for Christ's sake. You get the sweaty, hairy-palmed virgin modders still ruining the game. Or like on MW2, you have to wait 20 minutes just to get into a lobby. Or you're going to run into a situation like this where you can't even find a drop of water in the middle of the damn ocean. Oh, but don't worry, there's 1.5 million people still playing this, and yet I can't even find a motherfucker from fucking Switzerland to play with. I mean, come on, what, what, what is that? Anyways, the rant is over, guys. Hopefully they remaster this game too at some point. Otherwise, it is very possible I will not be able to play this fantastic game ever again. All I know is the video is ending, 
hit the damn like button if you were having the same problem with this game. Subscribe if you understand my level of frustration and hold on to those great Call of Duty era memories from Call of Duty 4 to Black Ops 1 and MW3 until they remaster some more of those great games. I just hope to God somebody gets their head out of their ass eventually and makes that happen for us at some point. Anyways, you have a great fucking day and I'll catch you later.